Our season comes down to one final game as we've got a playoff against Portsmouth to get into the playoffs. It's winner take all on today's episode of Educating the League. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming. And well, let's get right into it. This is the situation as we go into the final day of the season. We, of course, are taking on Portsmouth in that winner take all game. But have a look at this league table. All the playoff spots have not been decided as of yet. We're waiting to see who finishes where. Only Bolton are guaranteed at least a playoff spot, although they would have to be rather unlucky not to get an automatic spot, you would have to think. And well, Peterborough are going up as champions. You can see there, 98 points. If they get a win today in their last game, they could get 101 points, which would be a phenomenal total and something they deserve because they have been untouchable this season. Season. But other than that, we've got Bolton, Rotherham, Bristol, Wickham, us and Portsmouth and possibly Wigan all fighting it out for the other playoff spots. It's going to be a tight one. It's going to be a, um, a very exciting last day of the season. And well, I'm going to run you through our results in a second because it's been a while since we last been together. You was with us for the Newcastle thrashing in the FA Cup all the way back in January. And well, you'll see there that the last couple of months have not been great. Up until, up until the last month or so, we were still in with a chance of getting the second automatic spot. But well, that's gone a bit Pete Tong. So let's talk you through the results and then we'll get into today's huge game for Portsmouth, which I am very, very excited for. All right, guys, I really want to just get into the game. So we're not going to have the usual goals highlights I've been doing in the last couple of episodes, which, by the way, let me know down in the comments if you've been enjoying that. I'm going to bring that back for next season. I just really want to get into the game today, but I might cut it down, make it a bit quicker in between games uh in next season for those go goals highlights so please do let me know if you've been enjoying that and anyway here we are since we was last together we had a decent end to january a 1-1 draw against derby tyler smith who has finished as our top goal scorer with 22 goals i believe it is he's finished the season with 23 sorry sir i've i've, I've discounted you a goal but yeah, 23 goals for Tyler Smith in all competitions. He has just been phenomenal. He got us the equaliser there. And then Rotherham, we got a 3-1 win against them, which was very nice. And then February was our most successful month since we've last been together. You can see it there. We got two wins against Wickham and Accrington and a draw against Morecambe. And well, um, Mr. Frankie Lampard got a victory over us there for Wigan. Bit unusual for Frankie Lampard to get a win, but he managed it there against me, unfortunately. And then March is where it all started to go wrong. We lost to Leighton Orient, drew in the boat race derby against Cambridge United. I'm still determined to make that a thing. And then we lost to Bradford 1-0. But then we did manage to get another win against Cardiff. Tyler Smith scoring goals in all, in all three of the games in which we scored in the month of March. But then in April, it went phenomenally wrong we beat Lincoln 2-0 but that was our last win of the season the champions Peterborough thrashed us five goals to one we then only got a point against Bolton we got a defeat against Wimbledon 1-0 and then Bristol Rovers beat us 2-1 but our goal only came in the 92nd minute Ethan Galbraith on loan from United getting us our sole goal in that game 
And so that takes us up to today's game. But if you have a look at the at the past positions on the league table, I'll show you just how close it was until we lost to White to get the second place in the table. So here we are on the graph, and you can see that as recently as match 41, that victory against Lincoln, we was up to second there. So it's only been the last one, two, three, four games where we have fallen down. But you can see Bolton, they have really come from nowhere to come back and get that second spot in the table, which it looks like they are going to be grabbing a hold of. And so let's have a look at Portsmouth. How have they been doing all season? Well, you can see here as well, if we get rid of Bolton and we get rid of us, you can see there, they have had a bit of a nightmare season and it's only been the last couple of months, yeah, since February, where they've really got themselves back into the hunt for a playoff spot. But they as well have been on a bad run of form lately. They have also gone four games without a win, the same as us. So... Both teams in bad form. And if you remember, if you look at the league table once again, all we have to do is not lose. If we draw because of our because of our goal difference, we are in the playoffs. But if we lose, we are out and Portsmouth are in. So this is a massive, massive game. Playoff before the playoff. I think that's what I'm going to call this episode. And so, shall we get into the game? I can't wait for this one. Come on, boys. This is the team for today's game. We've got Jack Steven Jingle. He's been our number one all season long. So no point in changing now. And then the back four is Kalina, Bauer, Omar Ajit, Long. Again, another very solid back four. They know each other. They've played together a lot. So I'm sticking with them. And then look at all those yellow lines as you go further up the pier. It's, it's very nice to see as we've got Iqbal, O'Neill and Smith in the middle of the park. And then up front, Marcus Brown comes in because Scott Banks has been poor the last few games. So he's got a chance to make himself a hero today, does Brown. And then up front, it is, of course, our top goal scorer, Tyler Smith. And it is Nibs up front. Come on, lads. Please let us let us win this game. I'm so nervous. Here we are in the dressing room for this big, big game. I'm going to say I'm fed up of our recent bad form. Shall I say that? What kind of reaction is that going to get? Decent reaction. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Let's just try and get some confidence into Harvey Nibs. I'm going to say uh, I have faith in you. That's got him motivated. I am happy with that. Now, come on. Prediction time. Both our games early... Well, we had two games earlier in the season against Portsmouth. They both ended 3-2. I don't want another one like that. So, I'm going to say 2-0 us. Come on, Oxford. That would be beautiful. First highlight of the game, and it's Portsmouth with it. Edwards with the corner, but Bauer has headed it away. And now it's Lane with the ball. He goes to Lowry. And Lowry to Mingi, to Morrell on the edge of our box. He's gone for a long shot, and thankfully that's gone high and over the bar. 27 minutes in now, and it's us coming forward with the ball. We've crossed it in. It's Nibs with it, and Harvey Nibs with his 12th goal this season has given us the lead in this huge game. Could that be the goal that gets us into the playoffs? Come on, Sir Harvey of Nibsville. Yes, my man. Look at that for a header from the boy. What a signing he has been. Half an hour into the game now. And it's Iqbal coming forward with the ball for us. Back to Kalina. And Kalina just wide to Bauer. Back to Kalina. Iqbal. We're keeping the ball very nicely now. O'Neill forward to Brown, who maybe needs to come off the pitch after this highlight. Long. Smith. 
And what can Smith do? He's played it forward. Nibs is in again. Nibs has made it 2. Nibs has made it 2-0. That team talk I gave him before the game is proved to be a master stroke. What a goal. We are 2-0 up. All those nerves before the game. You was nervous. I wasn't nervous. I knew we could do it. Now, come on. What a very nice second goal from Harvey Nibs. Yeah. Yes. 38 minutes in, it's Portsmouth with another corner. Lowry to take it. Lowry crosses it into the box. And it's all oh, I thought that header was going into the back of the net, but thankfully not. Well, that is half time. We are 2 0 up thanks to the Harvey Nibs wonder show. But you can see by the stats just how even this game has been. Eight shots, two are six for Portsmouth. Two on target apiece. A very similar XG as well. And only 51% of possession as compared to Portsmouth, 49%. I'm very sorry, I'm getting over a cold. So if I slip over a couple of words, I am very, very sorry, guys. But yeah, that is how it is looking for us. And now if we have a look at the live league table... Bolton are just about hanging on to their second spot to their second spot in the table. And Rotherham are currently in third. Bristol Rovers in fourth. We are moving up to fifth. And Wickham are dropping down to sixth. So that is how it's looking right now. Come on. One more goal in the second half, and I'd be a very very happy boy. Let's go hands on hips. Uh, you're doing brilliantly. You're doing brilliantly. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. I did, of course, take Brown off in the first half because he is carrying that injury. And so Scott Banks has come on for him. But now second half, surely we can get one more goal. Harvey Nibs hat trick. That would be nice. 53 minutes gone in the game. And it's Portsmouth with the ball early on in the second half. But they've cleared it only as far as our man, Omar Adjic. O'Neill, Iqbal, Omar Adjic. Sorry, O'Neill again, Iqbal. Through to Tyler Smith, to Banks. Smith, Nibs, Nibs for his hat-trick. And it is a Harvey Nibs hat-trick. It's 3-0. How wowzers. We have silenced Fratton Park. Oh, no, we haven't. No, we haven't, because that was very obviously offside spin, wasn't it? Of course it was. Oh, that's harsh. Ah, uh, probably right in the rules, but you know, I would have liked a third goal. 65 minutes gone now, and it's Smith with a corner for us. Their keeper has punched it away. It's gone to O'Neill, and O'Neill's long shot has smacked the bar and gone out of play. It is all highlights at the moment. Portsmouth now coming forward with the ball. But Hackett gives it away. And now it's Banks to Iqbal. Iqbal, he's got a couple of men he could play the ball to here. He's played it to Smith. And Smith, Smith has put it in. He's put it against the bar. How have we not scored a third here? Well, with 20 minutes left to go, we're going to make a couple of changes. I think we're going to bring Brannigan on for O'Neill just to get some fresh legs onto the pitch. And because he's got a yellow card, don't want to risk going down to 10 men. And then Smith, do we take do we take Smith off? He is looking tired, but he's having a good game. I think I think we oh, he's looking tired. He's looking tired. Gal Balf is on for Smith. And those are the two changes we're making for the minute. Come on, lads. 20 minutes to hold on. Well, immediately following me making those subs, we've got the ball again. Omar Adjic crosses it in. Smith with the header and he's hit the bar. Oh my gosh. But Omar Radic has it back. Iqbal to Banks out wide and Banks shot goes over the bar. He could not cast that opportunity in. Oh, no, 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 no. Ten minutes left. Portsmouth have got the ball deep in our half, but they've only given it back to us, but we return it to them. And now it's Gifford with the shot, and thankfully that was poor and never, ever troubled Stevens. Yes! 
That is how it's done, lads. We have got the victory against Portsmouth. Two goals to nil. Harvey Nibs is, of course, the hero. And so that means our season continues. We are going to be taking part in the playoffs. And, well, what a good first half performance in particular that was from us. Let's get into the dressing room, and then that's where I'm going to let you guys go for today. And so, let's say a win and a good performance. Yeah, everybody's happy. Let's go and have a look, see who we're going to be playing against, and then I will let you beautiful people go. Okay, so it's Rotherham we've got in the playoff semi final. That, of course, is going to be our very next episode. I'm going to be recording that immediately after this. So we'll have a look in that video at how we've got on against Rotherham in the two games this season. But as for now, if you've enjoyed that video, you know what to do. Pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 free content and follow me on twitter at s taylor comms thank you so so much for watching we're going to the playoffs